Hello everyone, it's Dill Media. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm recording from the airport in Frankfurt. I'm on my way back home from Korea. So if there is the occasional noise or disturbances such as announcement, then you know why. Uh, today's recording is basically uh, going to be covering what Kathy would release um, earlier this month about her take on the economy, her take on what's going on in the market, and a potential market crash and how to hedge against it. Again, if this is some something that you guys like to know and make regular updates of, please consider sh liking um, and giving me some comments below so that I can prepare content like this similar in the future. And if you are new to the channel and you like the content, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom. And there is free money to be taken. In box, particularly with Webull, they give away four free stocks. If you put in a hundred dollars, those free stocks typically ranges for about forty dollars worth stocks. So there's no reason for for you not to take advantage of uh, the free money. Well, Kathy Wood earlier this month have given us some really good information about expectations for 2021. Uh, she started the video off by saying what she did not get right, which was that she anticipated a massive market sell-off once the Democrats took over the House and the Senate, also of the executive power. So, I mean, this is so crazy how much power the Democrats will have, and they're going to be able to make a lot of changes without the help of the Republicans. And what Kathy Wood is very, very nervous and concern and the right to be concerned is that there is going to be a huge hike in tax rate particularly the corporate tax rate and capital gains for us long-term investors this is this is not good at, at all one of the implications that she has for all of this would be that particularly corporate tax rate is that it's going to chase away a lot of innovative companies in a previous tesla video i've mentioned that elon musk have mentioned about opening a fifth giga factory in the United States. But if the corporate tax rate becomes unbearable, I would not blame him for perhaps choosing another country. Kathy Wood was surprised that the equity market did not seem to be bothered by the fact that the Democrats is in total control. However, they are looking forward to the one trillion stimulus that's gonna be injected into the into circulation, which I think is a little bit nerve-wracking because I think with that much money in circulation, it's certainly a catalyst for inflation. What she did think was very positive was that the bull market is broadening, that despite all of that, there wasn't a market sell-off, which is a good indication, at least for now. Kathy Wood also said what remained true in her previous prediction was the V-shaped recovery and that the recovery is going to continue to trend upward despite the fact that there was COVID and despite the fact that there was resurgent. I also agree with what she said about the earnings explosion in 2021, which makes sense because all of these companies that were so hard hit by COVID, they're going to return with a vengeance and there is going to be so much earnings that's going to be generating that, I, you know what, the fintech industry is going to monetize from this explosion. Like I mentioned before, Kathy Wood says that there is a real risk for inflation. And the fact is 20, 20 or 25% of the money that was printed was, printed was printed in 2020. And as we know, there's gonna be a trillion dollar worth of stimulus going into the economy, which is definitely going to cause some changes in the velocity of money. With regards to this, we really have to focus on the velocity of money. This is very important. For instance, right now, a lot of us, whatever money we have, like for instance, in my case, whatever money I have, I typically save or invest it in the stock market. So that will control inflation as a whole. But when people don't do that, and they, when people start to spend, that's when we know inflation is coming. Another indication of inflation is when commodities begin to rise. And we know that copper have already risen by 75%. So that is indication that people are anticipating that inflation is coming. And if that is the case, people will 
begin to, to spend more. The, the Feds will have to react to that. I know that currently the Feds have promised that they will not hike up the interest rate until 2023. However, Kathy Wood is under the impression that that's not going to happen, that Kathy Wood thinks that the interest rate will go up a lot quicker. Let's reiterate, if people think, anticipate inflation is going up, which there are indications of it because commodity is going up, they're not going to wait to, or to buy goods, but they're going to buy and react now because it's going to cost more. So when they start to do that, then they're not saving. And because they're not saving, they're spending more. When they're spending more, then the government, the feds would have to react by increasing the interest rate. So when the interest rate goes up, that is not good for the market. And so that's the reason why Kathy Wood thinks that they're not going to wait until 2023. They're going to hike up the interest rate a lot, lot sooner than one might think. She predicted that gold and Bitcoin will be something that's going to be good. When there is inflation, people tend to buy gold. But right now, as you can see, gold has been, I guess it hasn't been going up as much as Bitcoin. I mentioned in the video um, that I created with Bitcoin and um, Clean Spark that I think one of the hottest stocks and commodity to own in 2021 is going to be um, Bitcoin. But I'm not buying Bitcoin. I'm buying what Kathy Wood bought, which is GBTC, which is a trust um, investment Bitcoin trust. Because Kathy Wood's innovation is going to get us out of trouble. So when there is trouble, we innovate our way through problems. And electrification, EV, electric vehicle, is the wave of the future. So even if we go through this phase, I still think that it's good to be with innovation. This, in this, her video, she mentioned the way to hedge all of this is to stick with uh, Bitcoin and electric vehicle, which is the reason why Tesla is accounts for about five to six of her entire investment. With regards to the Biden administration, she believes that what President Trump did in terms of health care, both administration would want the, would want lower prices. So breakthrough in therapies for cancer research and such will continue so for that reason her etf ark genomics i think that is a good etf to invest in because that's part of healthcare. and clean energy like i mentioned she's going to continue to buy into tesla and i will keep my tesla because the cost of technology for instance battery is going down and right now they're ready to scale so therefore the government doesn't need to subsidize I mentioned also in other videos that previously when Tesla was first out, the government was giving you subsidy if you were to buy a Tesla car. But now you don't need to. In fact, the government already uh, canceled subsidies for electric vehicle because it's already in demand. She says that these two sector will, will, be will be continue to be de dependable and a good source of investment. She mentioned that people think that inflation is dead, but inflation is not dead. And typically with inflation, I mean, she thinks that perhaps that there may be a monetary fiscal mistake because whenever there is the money supply is too much or when the fiscal stimulus is too much, that's going to cause problems um, with regards to inflation. Uh, she did mention that gold is lagging be behind BTC, but she thinks that both will be good for the future. She mentioned that many, many companies have already reached out to her company asking whether or not it is, good, it is a good time to buy Bitcoin as part of their reserves. Uh, she, just, she said Square already started doing that and MicroStrategy. I guess what we need to really be aware of is the velocity of money. When you see that people, when you, when you talk to your friends and everyone is saying, hey, I'm gonna be selling everything off and I'm gonna start buying gold, I'm gonna start spending more and I'm not saving and I'm not investing as much, that's definitely an indication that inflation is coming and people are anticipating inflation. And that is when we definitely want to take some money out and keep it for when there is a huge discount in major companies, in major stocks that we like, that we have enough money to buy into the dip. Uh, just similar to what happened during COVID in March. If you want to reassess your portfolio, 
and you think that this is this is something that might happen then it probably is a good time to uh, take some earnings off the table hold on to the cash and wait for some some pullback i think it makes total sense that there's going to be like a 20 30 percent correction in the market and i think that would be a great time for you to buy into companies that you think are quality companies but are going through sort of this temporary wobble she doesn't think that this is going to be a complete crash but there's going to be um, many corrections she mentioned uh, please share your thoughts i'd like to know what you guys are thinking and how you guys are hedging for all of this. consider sharing any other sources of information that you think is useful for other channel members to know